the Ukrainian Victoria Karpenka. Or maybe even American Vanessa Adler. These are just three of the world's best who have traveled today to the Sports Palace in Mexico City to battle for favored status at Copa Gymnastica on Fox Sports Net. Nine countries will compete today for team honors and the coveted all-around medals. I'm Bart Connor, along with Nadia Komenich. Let's get right to the action in the first rotation. This is Romania's Claudia Prezikon. And this is a great event for Claudia. Beautiful double layout. This is a great start for her. The reason I think this is a great event for her is because she hits everything with precision, usually. of the Romanian Olympic team, Octavian Bellu, calls her his little soldier because every time a task is asked of her, she delivers. Last tumbling run right here. And she's got no problem. That should get a terrific score, a good start for the Romanian team effort, as well as her individual shot at an all-around medal today. Yeah, we'll see what the judges think. The gymnasts are required to show back and front tumbling in the same pass. Here is a back layout with two and a half twists. Punch front, great landing. 9.5, not a bad start for the Romanian team. This is Brenda Magana. She's 21 years old from Guadalajara five times a member of the world championship team from Mexico, and she is the home country favorite today. And she is very powerful. Oops. Coming from a country that's not known for great gymnasts, I really like that uh, she attacks high difficulty moves. is from a floor exercise routine. There are four events going simultaneously today in the team and all around competition. Nadia, that music in the background, was that ever a distraction to you when you were competing? I was concentrating what I have to do on the beam, so I, I don't think I ever heard the music. It's hard to miss great balls of fire. <laughs> a little more polish on her jumps. I think they should be a little higher and cleaner. Here's a chance for her to show her power, though. Here's her dismount. Wow. She has a great lift with her arms, but she has to pull her knees apart to increase the rotation. So a couple of places with a little sloppy form and a couple of bobbles. Her score, an 8.7. Quickly now, we better get over to the floor exercise because Simona Aminar is ready to go. And this is also a great event for Simona. I think she can do so many different tumbling moves. 
I like that she has the flexibility to switch them around depending on how she feels. She certainly is the most accomplished gymnast in the event today. She has an Olympic gold on the vault, an Olympic bronze in the all-around in 96. In the team battle, her score will be combined with Claudia Pressicon, who already had a 9-5. said she started gymnastics at six years old because she saw it on TV and she wanted to be a star. That's why I started too. <laughs> this is her last tumbling pass. Many gymnasts are doing three passes, but she's so powerful that she can do four. We've come to expect great scores every time we see Simona Amanar 9-6-5. You know, more than 30 years ago in Mexico City at the 68 Olympics, Czechoslovakian Vera Czoslaska performed a floor routine to the Mexican hat dance to dazzle the crowd and earn one of her 11 Olympic medals. Vera Czoslaska and many of the biggest names in the sport are celebrated here at the Gymnastics Hall of Fame. Now back at Copa Gymnastica today in Mexico City, we've already seen the Romanians look very solid and strong. Who do you think will be their biggest challengers today, Nadia? Well, of course, the Russians are always very strong, but today I'm very impressed with Victoria Karpenka from Ukraine. She could be one of the favorites to win gold in next Olympics. She has had so many injuries that held her back, but I've never seen her looking better than she looks today. And for the Americans, we have Alyssa Beckerman competing from Cincinnati and the sensational Vanessa Atler. And this is a really big meet for Vanessa. She's up against many of the best gymnasts in the world. Although she's fun to watch and dynamic, she will need to concentrate on her most inconsistent event, the uneven bars, to do well today. We'll go back to Mexico City and more of Copa Gymnastica right after this message on Fox Sports Net. Look who's reading International Gymnast Magazine. Welcome back to Copa Gymnastica here on Fox Sports Net. Competition continues in the first rotation. And the floor exercise now is Olga Rashukina from Ukraine. Part I was so impressed when I saw her last at the Junior Europeans uh, because the quality of her gymnastic is great. When you think about the Ukrainian team, you think great technique and great execution. tumbling appears a little weak there may be a reason for that she arrived late last night here in mexico city had visa problems and so didn't get here until the very last minute so certainly she's exhausted it's a long way from kiev to mexico city that she goes for difficult moves. That young lady looks worn out to me, and that's just the first event of four that she'll have to do today. And this is a difficult pass. It's a one and a half twist. Step out to a pike, double back. She just barely made it around. Her score, a 9.2. 
At the top of the show, we talked about this young lady, Alyssa Beckerman, originally from New Jersey, now living in Ohio. She's getting ready for her second vault. This was her first. It earned her a 9-0. And this is a great execution, but not a very difficult vault. There's the score for the first vault. It will be average with this vault here, her second. Great push from the horse. She has no problem with this vault. As you mentioned, though, Nadia, only a 9-3 start value, so that won't get a great score quickly to the floor now because Victoria Karpenka is already going. is with keeping herself in the floor area a few times, Bart. Well, having too much power is a good problem to have. She loses a tenth of a point for going out and a tenth for the step. Oleg Ostapenka, he coached the last Olympic champion, Lilia Potkopaeva, who won in 1996. He says this young lady, Victoria Karpenka, is the most talented gymnast he's ever worked with. And I agree, Bart. Boy, everything seems so easy for her. As you can see, her fitness level is amazing. Look, she doesn't even breathe. Hard. We'll come back for her score, but quickly now to the vault. This is Vanessa Atler getting ready for her second vault. Her first vault earned a 9.45. Her teammate, Beckerman, averaged a 9.012. And this is a difficult vault. The start value of this vault is 9.90. And boy, she certainly has to be one of America's biggest hopes for a gold medal in Sydney. There's her coach, Steve Rybacki. Steve and his wife, Beth Klein, originally, who was an Olympian in 1980, coach Vanessa. She has already defeated the current Olympic champion, Aminar. She won a gold over her at the Goodwill Games this past summer. And she has a great push from the horse part. Nice form and great landing. Atler's score, the average of the two vaults, 9-4-6-2. Karpenka had a 9-6 for her effort on the floor exercise. Here are the team standings after the first rotation. Romania, a solid lead. United States in four. Now available to the... This is Fox Sports Net Northwest. Welcome back to Copa Gymnastica in Mexico City. After the first rotation, here are the all-around standings. Aminar, our leader, $6,000 will go to the all-around champion today. Also from Romania, this is Claudia Presicon getting ready for her second vault. Her first vault earned a 9475. And this is not her best event. Ooh, that was a little off to the side, and she had to bend her knees to make the rotation. Probably won't get a terrific score, a chance for Vanessa Atler to move up in the all-around standing. She's getting ready now to perform on the uneven bars, and prior to the event, we talked with her about this team format. I think it's cool. I mean, I like it. We can get along really good because there's only two of us, and we pump each other up, and Alyssa's great, and... I think it's going to be a great competition. Everybody's really good, and so it's going to be exciting to watch and fun to do. So. As you mentioned at the top of the show, Nadia, this is the event where she has shown some inconsistency. Mm -hmm. Ironically, the move that she's had the most difficulty on is called a coma niche. I used to fall a lot on that too, Bart. Luckily, not in competition. She made it there. It's a difficult move. She's so aggressive and quick. 
It's an advantage for her on floor and vault, but sometimes a disadvantage on the bars, but a great finish. No problem there with the landing. And here comes the dismount. This is a double layout with a full twist and what a landing. And she lands like a dart going into a dartboard. 9425 her score, which will move her ahead of Presicon, whose two vault average was a 9187. Her teammate now, Simona Aminar, had a 9-6 on her first vault. Here's her second. Excellent vault for Aminar. She does it so easily. The start value of this vault is 9.90. Here's a young lady who's been the two-time world champion on this event and the reigning Olympic champion in vault. She has a great push from the horse. What a beautiful form. Just a little jump on the landing. 9.65, the score for her second vault. 9.625 average, which will help the Romanians after the rather low score of 9.187 for Presikhan. Now to the floor from Russia, Anna Kovalyova. 1998, she clinched the junior European all-around title, and she did it on this event, the floor. from her last year, but the polish has always been. <laughs> Sucking in a little air, maybe. You know, even doing something with your arms is difficult before your last pass. finish her front tumbling is very good watch this this is a front layout with a double twist very hard to do and her score is a 935 so stay with us here at Copa Gymnastica Lots more gymnastics to come on Fox Sports Net. It's their territory. It's their world. Welcome back to the Sport Palace in Mexico City. This venue was the site of the basketball competition at the 1968 Olympics. Today, it's gymnastics. Brenda Magana from Mexico now takes to the floor. And this is a spectacular event for her. this tumbling pass. Wow. It's hard to do it better than that. That was a double layout right to a punch front somersault. It sure got the crowd into it, didn't it? Certainly the more
more than 7,000 people here in attendance are enjoying this performance. That's her last sounding pass. Good for her. Well, she's got more than enough power. Watch this double layout into a punch front. Look how high she is. This is very hard, and she does it easily. To the vault now, Victoria Karpenka getting ready for her second vault, her first vault. Let's take a look at what happened there. And this is a Phelps named after the American gymnast J.C. Phelps, and the start value of this vault is 9.80. 9.425, the score for that vault. Here's her second. Wow, that was a much better vault. Cleaner execution. It's tough to keep good form on that arched position in the air. Yes, on this vault, most gymnasts have a tendency to pipe, but look at her body. It's arch, which is nice but it makes the landing very difficult. Score 9.5 for the second ball, an average of 9.462 for Magania on the floor, a 9.3. Here are the team standings at the halfway point. Romania has doubled their lead over Ukraine, the United States in four. The Columbia River Gorge is Ford country, and Jack's new Ranger Super Bowl by. Welcome back to Mexico City. We're at the halfway point in the all-around competition here at Copa Gymnastica. Aminar, our leader over this young lady, Victoria Karpenka from Ukraine. And her routine here is very innovative. As a matter of fact, she has two moves named after her. Here's one right there. And here comes the second. And she has two release moves back to back. And look at her form and complete body extensions. And here comes the dismount. Beautiful exercise. Talk about a routine that is packed with difficulty. Let's take a look at those two moves that are named after her. A free hip circle, half period, two inverts. An invert is a giant swing with your arms twisted. And she hops out of the invert and does a full period right back into inverts. And a release move. Over to the vault now, Anna Kovalyova, currently fourth place in the all-around competition, just ahead of American Vanessa Atler in fifth. Her first vault score was a 9.1. She's a favorite of the Russian head coach Leonid Arkayev last year's national champion in Russia. And this is the same ball we saw from Karpenka. This was not her best ball. She didn't have good push from the horse, sloppy form, and low landing. Ironically, this is her favorite event, but as you can see here, it doesn't look like she gets launched off the horse very well, so she's a little low, and difficult to pull that laid out front all the way around. We'll come back for her score, but now let's go quickly to the balance beam where Alyssa Beckerman is ready to perform. Nice punch front. A little mistake there. At five feet three, she's about a head taller than most of the other gymnasts in this competition, and she uses that to her advantage. And here's a beautiful round up layout. She has pretty form and very nice extension. She really is a stylist when you think about the quality of her gymnastics. She may lack a little difficulty of some of the other gymnasts here. A little trouble there. But she tries to make up for it with the way she stylizes all of her moves. That's a difficult combination. 
I like this unique sequence of four turn right into a front aerial. Very nice. All she has left now is the dismount. It should be a triple twist. Oh. Oh, she didn't quite get it around. But good job. She looks relieved. Alyssa Beckerman. Here's the dismount. She didn't have enough height to finish the twist. She surely tried to sell it to the judges, though. Let's get you caught up on the scores. Karpenka had a 9.675 for her bar routine. Kovalyova, 9.112. And Beckerman, a 9.0. It's the hell. Gymnastics continues here on Fox Sports Net. The Romanian team still to go here in the third rotation. This is Claudia Presicon on the uneven bars. The Romanians always counted on her on this event. She has some good connected skills that earns her bonus points. Here's one of them. Oh, a little form break there. And there was the second one. Beautiful this one. And as we've come to expect from her, a solid routine, but there were some form breaks. Like here, this release move, the legs came apart. Probably about a two-tenth of a point deduction. But here is an example of a good combination. Full twist right into a dismount. Beautiful form, great landing. Her score, a 9.65, actually a little higher than I thought it was going to be, but that sets up her teammate, Simona Aminar. By the way, that bronze medal in the all-around at the Olympics, she tied for that bronze with her teammate, Lavinia Milosevic. And watch this high-release move. She's trying very hard to keep her legs together. And here comes the combination into the dismount. Very difficult. Typical of the current Romanian team. Solid, but nothing unique in this exercise. Yes, but here's a full period immediately into a layout double. And this is very difficult to do. Slightly missed the mat there on the landing. 9-4-7-5, the score for Simona Aminar. So good scores for both of the Romanians. Let's take a look at the team standings. Romania still a solid lead over Ukraine. United States in fourth. Russia just behind in fifth. Hi, everyone. Bart Connor, along with Nadia Komenich. We're back here at the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame in Oklahoma City. At Copa Gymnastica in Mexico City, the all-around battle is heating up. Aminar is the leader, Karpenka is second, and Atler and Presicon tied for third. Atler's coming up on a spectacular event for her. And Flor is great for Vanessa. She couldn't pick a better event to finish on. But for her to take the lead will take a major mistake from Aminar and Karpenka on a balance beam. And I would not bet this will happen because both can deliver great routines under pressure. Speaking of pressure, we spoke with Vanessa Atler before this competition. She said she likes competing in such a strong field. I, I think I tend to do a little bit better when there's better gymnasts there. I get more excited and, um, and I mean, I feel ready. So, you know, I just want to see how I can do, you know, under this kind of pressure and stuff. But I mean, I feel good, so I'm ready. Now the competition begins in the fourth rotation, fourth and final rotation. I mentioned that the Russian team was in fifth place. This is Yevgenia Kuznetsova, who already has an Olympic medal from 1996 in Atlanta with their Russian teammates. And this is a fun routine to watch. It's very unique, and she has a huge variety of skills. Watch this. Beautiful front giant. These 
are her signature moves. Split leg giant. Beautiful routine. That really is a cool routine. So many clever elements and combinations, and I love this. And here are the scissors, giant swings. Very unique. Right into a split leg double layout. She doesn't get any extra bonus points for doing those in the split position, but it's still cool nonetheless. And it is her signature element, as you mentioned. Anna Kovalyova getting ready for the bars. The score for Kuznetsova was a 9.6. So the Russians in fifth in the team competition with a good performance here from Kovalyova could move up into podium contention. Very interesting routine to watch because it's unique and she has different kind of combinations. She just flows from one bar to the other bar. And here comes the dismount. Not bad. Probably another solid score for the Russian team, not as innovative as Kuznetsova. You know, she can do a less complicated routine to get a good score, but I like that she stands out by combining the skills the way she does. for Kovalyova, 9.35. The gymnastics will continue here on Fox Sports Net right after this. There's nothing like taking a piece of wood, cutting it. There's Monday at 6.30 on Fox Sports Net Northwest. Welcome back to Copa Gymnastica here in Mexico City. We're in the fourth and final rotation. The Romanians take to the balance beam. This is Claudia Presicon, who has three gold medals with the Romanian team in world competition, but she missed the Olympics in Atlanta because of a sprained ankle. We'll surely see her in Sydney in 2000 on that team. And she's very confident on this event. Watch this pass. Beautiful layout, and she doesn't panic if she's a little off. Nice leap combination. You talk about how she doesn't panic up there. When you watch the Romanians on the beam, you don't get the impression that they could fall off at any second. They seem very calm. She was a little off here. And here she gets ready for her dismount. Should be a tucked double back somersault. Very easily done. She has great height and really good rotation. Just a step on the landing, but no problem. 9575 from the judges here in the fourth and final rotation as she gets some counseling from her coach, Octavian Bello. Here is Vanessa Atler now. As you see, she had been tied with Presicon, so anything more than a 9575, and she'll take over the lead in the all around.
be a triple twisting laid out somersault. outside of perhaps Brenda Magana from Mexico, Vanessa Adler, clearly one of the most popular gymnasts here. Watch this, what's amazing about this, the second somersault is way higher than the first one. And then she follows it up with a punch front somersault. Man, you have to have Achilles tendons made out of kryptonite to make that move. 9.65, so Vanessa Adler takes the lead in the all-around but perhaps not for long, because as you see, Simona Aminar only needs a 9.25 to take over the lead, and she's coming up on the balance beam, and you just don't expect Simona Aminar to make a mistake. She's very steady on this event. Solid mount. And here comes a great combination, different. It's a gainer backhand spring, layout, layout. Very nice. Perhaps a good contrast to the American Alyssa Beckerman, who showed very smooth execution, but not a lot of difficulty. Aminar might be choppy. But boy, does she pack in the stuff. But she connects her skills very well. Nice. And here she gets ready for her dismount. A little short, but enough to put her on the lead. Surely she'll get more than a 9.25 that she needed to take the lead over Atler in the all around. And a good enough score could clinch the title for the Romanian team. You know, and you can catch her occasionally with bad form, but only if you watch it in slow motion. Her score on 9.65, so Simona Aminar takes the lead in the all-around. We'll be back with the final performances after this. Look who's reading internet. Copa Gymnastica, the Romanians have clinched the team title, which means that even if both Ukrainians got perfect tens, they couldn't overtake them. This is Rashupkina. And this is usually a very good event for her. Nice combination. I really like this gainer to lay out, lay out. That's the same pass we saw from Aminar. She's not quite on today. Balance beam is her favorite event. She says her role model in gymnastics is Lilia Popaiva the 1996 Olympic all-around champion, who she happens to look exactly alike. And this is a beautiful sequence. There's a full turn. That's a required element. Here comes the dismount. She made it. Perhaps she lacks a little of the power of Karpenka or Aminar, but her technique is really clean. The 
This is her dismount. She almost ran out of gas there. Well, the judges liked it. 9 6 2 5, her score. The last performance in today's Copa Gymnastica all around competition, Victoria Karpenka. As you see, a 9 6 7 5 would give her the championship in the all around. Oh, a little bobble there. Beautiful pass. She has hyper-extended legs. Gives her a great line and uh, elegant look. Watch for this move. Wow, I'll never do that. <laughs> There have always been high expectations attached to her. Last couple of years, she struggled with injuries, however, and missed some of the important competitions. She missed the World Championships in 97 because of broken fingers. She missed the Olympics in 96 because of a hamstring problem. And she missed the Goodwill Games because of the ankle surgery. Hmm. You know, I also like about her that she's very meticulous. When you are calm, you can think. And here comes the dismount. Beautiful. Remember, 9675 would put her in the lead. It's going to be close. That one step on the landing may have cost her at least a tenth of a point. Although this is a double back dismount like any other gymnast doing, what makes it difficult is she includes a back and swinging combination. Well, there it is, 9.75, the score for Victoria Karpenka. So she will win the all-around gold here. Let's take a look at the team standings. Romania, Ukraine, and a surprising performance of Italy, they take third. In the all-around competition, it's Karpenka, Aminar, and Atler. Vanessa, it was a pretty exciting competition. Uh, give me your impression of how it went. Uh, I thought I did great, and I mean, I was really ready for this meet, and ball went well, I did hit bars, and it was good. Beam was a little shaky. Um, Flora did well on it. I mean, I was happy overall with what I did, and um, usually when I come into international competitions, I, I don't do very well. You know, I'm not used to it yet, and so this is really a good thing for me that I did good at this game. Congratulations, and good luck in the future. Thank you. And that's the story from Mexico City and Copa Gymnastica. For Nadia Comaneci, I'm Bart Connor. Thanks for watching Gymnastics here on Fox Sports Net.